public transport fare dodges and the suburbs named the worst might surprise you. New figures show the wealthiest areas have the highest rate of fare evaders, while commuters doing it tough are more honest. Matthew Sadler has the details. This is Joseph, a regular metro traveller who never pays his fare. Mike is a rip-off, yeah. Everyone knows that. He's clocked up nine and a half thousand dollars in fines and has no intention of paying them. It's so a game for six of us, do it for sport and see how much we rack up and, and at the end of it we win the prize. Joseph is one of thousands of people travelling around the system who don't pay their way. But it is really frustrating and disappointing to see people who um, are not paying their way and it shows a, a great level of disrespect. Public Transport Victoria says the Sunbury line is where fare dodging happens least, with just 1.3% of travellers doing the wrong thing. It's the Sandringham line which takes in affluent suburbs such as Brighton, where fare evading is at its highest. And that hasn't gone down well with commuters in the west. And where are you living in housing commissions and stuff like that, you know? They're sitting on a fortune. It's not fair at all, because they rich. But fare evasion is an issue across the city. Like many metro stations across the suburban area, this one doesn't have a ticket barrier, so the system here largely relies on honesty. The Public Transport Users Association says it's just too easy for people to dodge their fares. It's a matter of looking at the hot spots, working out where they can perhaps put in more fare gates, more ticket checks, uh, concentrating on uh, the, those, uh, those areas where fare evasion is highest. The government is promising things will improve with a crackdown on repeat offenders. Aiming for a fair go for all. Matthew Sadler, 10 Eyewitness News.